Hey, my Swanley Dunn family. So today, guess what we're gonna do here? We have chicken and beef marinated for fajitas. Instead of the smoker, today we are gonna do them on the griddle. So to start off with, what we have here is we've done some London broil and some chicken thighs. They're marinated in some McCormick seasoning. It's uh, a lime-based seasoning, very good stuff. Then we're gonna go ahead and, and put it all together with some peppers, some onions. Over here on this side, we got some tomatoes. We made some homemade pico de gallo with some cilantro. There's some cilantro in that. Uh, we're going to flavor it as we go, but as of right now, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do some fajitas for dinner on the griddle. All right, everybody, keep up with us. We'll let you know what's going on. All right, everybody, here we are back again. We're going to go ahead, get this set up. We're going to watch us throw some uh, chicken on this here, some polo. Throw some chicken on the... The flat top here. We got a little bit of a little bit of this going on here. A little bit of this. Then we're gonna throw a little bit of beef coming on next. We're gonna shut her down just a bit. We want to run this on a low for a little while, everybody. A little low. But we don't want to put too much uh, water on this. All we want to do is we want to get this out here. Get a little bit of this on here, right? Oh yeah, buddy. You listen to this. Now we're cooking dinner for about eight of us tonight, right? So this is a little bit more than what we, we thought about. We're gonna go ahead and get this where it needs to be. Get this spread out just a bit. We're gonna let this chicken go for a bit before we do the before we do the beef. The beef we can let go just a bit longer. We're gonna let this cook for about for about ten minutes. What we're doing here is we got the beef on, we got the chicken on. We're just letting this stuff marinate itself down cooking its own little jus here for a little bit then we're going to let it once it gets about three quarters way done we're going to throw these peppers onions tomatoes all that on there we're going to cook it down we're going to throw a little uh bouillon to it we're going to do a little chicken bouillon a little beef bouillon we're going to give it a little bit of flavor a little more flavor and then once we get all that done i'm going to show you all what's getting ready to happen when we go to plate this stuff all right, everybody keep up with me. We'll see y'all just shortly. Hey, everybody. So what we're doing now is we have the veggies on. We have yellow peppers, green peppers, red peppers, cilantro, tomatoes, uh, onions, and we've got salt, pepper, just the generals for those. Uh, of course, we still have the steak and the chicken. That's still on there. It's cooking itself down. We marinated it for about five hours now. Uh, we'll see how it turns out. Turns out the sun is all right there doing its job. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate it. What we're doing now is we're going to take these tortillas. That's right, tortillas. We got some... I don't know, protein tortillas. We got some regular soft taco tortillas. We're gonna take those, we're gonna butter them up real good. We're gonna put them on this unit right here and we're gonna blister them. Hi, Brain. That's my cooking buddy, Brain. Yeah, so once we get done, we may blister these things up, let you see them, we'll bring you back. Hey, look right here, look at this. What? Oh, goodness. 
That's right. We made some fajitas for dinner. So what we're doing now is apparently an after action because, well, I was busy eating because I'm a fat guy and fat guys like to eat. So what we have here is we have Amber still eating. Brandon and Karen are completely done for now. Oh, Lord, look. Nicholas is eating. Look at this hog. Look at this hog. Big old hog. Big old hog. Look at the shirt. The shirt goes with it. Hog on a bicycle. Hog on a, on a motor scooter. What? All right. So, what we have is pick it to go homemade. We have refried beans, which we heated up because, well, we ain't that damn fancy. <laughs> we have some chicken and London bowl that we turn into fajita seasoning and fajita stuffing. Then we turn around and Amber made some copycat Texas Roadhouse rice. That stuff is off the chain, is it not? Cash money. Cash money, Cash he says. Money. Off the chain. Very good. If you never tried it, there's there's recipes on Pinterest. Um one in particular we like. If you want to know more, let me know, and I'll let you uh, know which page it come from. Really good stuff. We enjoy it a lot. If we're going to go with a with like a, a spicy rice, that's the one we go to. It's really good. Anyhow, so tonight that's what we done. We done fajitas on the Blackstone. That's the aftermath. All turned out great. I would recommend it to anybody who just started their Blackstone lifestyle. It turns out really good. It's very simple. It's a lot simpler than hibachi. Hibachi is a little tougher to get right. Took me a few times to get it right. Fajitas always turn out good off the chain. All right, everybody. Good to talk to you. See you next time.